Hello and welcome again to Stocks Advisor channel. Here at our channel, we are looking for interesting buy opportunities for US based stocks. Today, we do still intraday analysis, but uh, another three hours left till the end of current trading session for the company uh, Brooks Automation, traded at NASDAQ, ticker name BRKS. Well, BRKS is a company that today is trading with kind of a doji style candle red one, but still with upwards and downwards shadows are uh, reasonable and comparable with the body of the candle. This means that we are still in an indecisive position and overall uh, it could be uh, quite bullish here because we are trading inside of the previous uh, candle and upper side of it actually. So it could be either flagging or restart or stepping formation, especially if you look at other accelerative parameters. So to understand the situation, let's do a quick analysis here. And as always, uh, at our daily charts, we are looking also at the free moving averages behavior, this free colorful line. So free moving averages being green, blue and red lines. So moving averages 20, 15, 200 correspondingly here on the left you see their legends and here they are depicted so what is very important here to understand that this stock is still uh so-called 2050 200 stock meaning that its moving averages are allocated like this and until this is the case uh, mid and long term the stock is profitable here and for short term traders or for technical traders mainly you just need to catch an appropriate wave and now we will speak about catching appropriate wave what is um, nice that after having in November this huge uh, move up and once the moving average 50, uh, 20 reached the price section as well we saw some correction towards moving average 50 here and then the price was dragged up by it during the week and now we see the formation of the wave uh, the formation of the wave and after we pierced both moving averages now it's still in hesitation so kind of traders are deciding what to do but what is very important here that you see while we were uh, supporting at the moving average 50 um, one two weeks ago the volume traded here is very enormous so we actually created a new uh, not only backs folder formation but a very strong level here and this level also confirmed by previous moves is now a kind of very strong uh, anchor or pivot point for the uh, for the price action we will keep it in mind so s1 level uh, which means that a lot of traders are sitting here and um, this means that oh, actually there is still a lot of chance to grow further because people will be waiting for profit formation etc and indeed you can see that uh, entry a lot of, of a lot of uh, new traders is also um, here in, um, giving the RSI to grow meaning that many people are going to have more profit so they're in profit situation and RSI with zigzagging but is strongly going up possibly will uh, willing to go to RSI being overbought like we saw previously for example during the wave uh, the, the previous wave formation for this stock so overall it's very bullish and in general also if you look at moving averages here especially moving average 20 it's going up like this so it's second derivative it's not only pointing upwards but it's also second derivative is positive so this accelerative move the same is true actually for our um, moving average 50 here which is going straight up and also starting to accelerate and what is important this is a truly acceleration because the volume traded here is not significantly higher than the previous days or weeks meaning that this is really a price uh by price and traders created rather than just the volume effect because sometimes you can have this volume effect drawing up but it's not really bullish then so this is nice now if we look at uh, MACD uh, histogram also we saw indeed very interesting formation during this depth uh, beginning of the year we formed a nice downwards uh, wave which is now slightly after piercing zero is creating a classical upwards wave and from the way it's forming probably it will make a secondary one because if this is happening we will after some flagging or volatiling here should go another uh, level I high if this is the case it will be upwards secondary wave if not if we if we go for correction this we will discuss now then at first again maybe we'll form negative one and then grow so for both cases uh to appreciate both scenarios actually it would be wise already to enter into the price section within the size of the white candle here that was traded yesterday the previous trading session and then grow with the price if not then we need to be prepared for uh, corrective moves and uh speaking of this speaking of being prepared for corrective moves uh, here we need to uh, be of course um, cautious and looking how it will go so first of all if the price will start falling from this one we really need to wait for nice average down opportunity and of course this one will happen 
at that level which will be a double support line that will be also moving average 50 just below it and uh, this line s2 and then anything between um s2 s1 would be a very nice buy because as i said s1 is psychologically very strong uh, level here so the price should restart should we really go lower then we need to be prepared for some serious average down and being patient and waiting because we also don't need to forget that after trading in the uh, several months in the trading channel uh, which was kind of first narrowing but then really was pierced and going higher let's call it uh, channel r1 r2 price really went high so we need to be prepared for this gap to be filled and if you look uh, at another volatility level that was clearly formed here in the vicinity of uh, 51 almost even a bit higher even uh, about 52 50 so this big gap of this volatility line v1 um, can be a strong attractor for the price down so we need to be prepared for this and therefore we need to put our average down on the last average down uh, opportunity and let's say a step here and with this being said actually it would be advised to uh, do it at this obvious level which would be then uh, another actually another volatility point uh, here v2 and by that time if we go there moving average 200 with also uh, catch up with the price so it will be in this vicinity again forming a double support that's also what we do often if you watch other videos at our channel we choose to um, use double support levels because they are much stronger in the in the opportunity so although it's much lower than others but then we need to be really prepared for this and here it would be advised to play with one two two strategy meaning that the funds you would like to play here you can split in five often we approach this one then you can uh, buy with one portion average down with two portions first time and average down again with two portions if needed but not really expected to happen uh, according to the entry levels discussed here with dark circle so this way it will be the best optimization of profit versus loss but in general what is expected for this stock to happen is most probably we won't go uh, even to s1 s2 level we should immediately grow but if not s1 s2 should be really very very strong support because as i just said s1 is historically but also volume wise is a very strong um, psychological point uh, that could be broken only by some negative news catalyst so even if this is broken it should be really news based and uh, then of course we need to be prepared for v1 uh, v2 support level but if not should go much higher because the company is overall now about to uh, form a new trend and you can see here uh, that either we will confirm and this will be known by um, after this wave how it will behave either we will confirm indeed this forming a uh, trend line let's say t1 or maybe we'll go a little bit lower it at least this is the vector toward which overall trading should be uh, forming now so uh, quite nice stock uh, to follow and it's going to a good times now overall but of course you need to catch the wave to be profitable so good luck with it also don't be too greedy once you start taking profit as always we advise 10 percent maybe 10 percent plus sometimes but we never discuss exit opportunities because our strategy is it's better to make 10 percent profit at every many stocks we all also post a lot of opportunities every day also the date of the video posted doesn't mean that it's outdated next day it's actually valid up un until sometimes five weeks because this, this if situation goes into need to average down the first and the second of um, or the first uh, uh, entry points here then of course it can delay and this means you can watch older videos as well up to five weeks sometimes so the situation discussed there could be just about to happen and you'll be in time to enter and make your trade uh, and as always we advise be um, let's say systematic making profit from many stocks also it will give you a lot of learning opportunity what's happening and how you need to trade rather than betting at, at one uh, stock and then trying to make the profit from one trade usually um, this is a kind of a casino approach a casino uh, way of thinking which is not very good actually it's it's a grave uh, mistake for traders especially for technical traders because now you cannot actually become rich from one trade this is impossible and it's one of the reasons why many young traders fail in the first year of their trading experience so try to avoid this at the beginning don't make it your paid experience make it uh, experience from learning so learn from others and be consistent in your profit so with this good luck 
Also, good luck with this current stock. Also, please check other videos. And if you're first time watching video at our channel, do not forget to subscribe. And also, please press the bell button. This way, you will not miss our new videos and new interesting discussions for US-based stocks. Thank you.